Are sneaky goblins the most OP farming troop? Let's show you how to use them. Welcome back, my friends, to the Clash Tips YouTube channel. This episode, we are going to be talking about the OP troop, the Sneaky Goblin. You, of course, gain access to this troop at Town Hall 11, and not only is it OP, not only can it steal tons of gold, tons of elixir, tons of dark elixir, but it makes an amazing sound whenever you release it. <laughs> this has to be one of my favorite troops in the game, and Supercell definitely outdid themselves whenever they created this super troop. But there is a definite sure way to use them to gain the most profit with every single raid that you do. And it never fails that I'm able to gain millions and millions and millions of resources using just two full armies of Sneaky Goblins. And I know it's something that you can do too. Throughout these raids, we're gonna be using what is called the Raid Quotient. And that is just the amount of resources that we gain divided by the number of troops that we have to use to gain these resources. This is the army comp that I use. I typically throw in about 20 wall breakers. You can also use super wall breakers if I have them rented, then I'll typically bring four or five. I will typically have my spell space between jump spells and invis spells. And you'll see why here in just a minute. But here we go. You want to look for bases, not necessarily where there's a ton of loot, not only in the millions, but you want easy access to loot. You want to be able to use the least amount of sneakies possible to gain the most loot possible with each individual sneaky. Also, I don't normally bother taking down the town hall, but we are a little low on trophies. I normally like to raid in the 1500 to 2000 trophy range to make sure that I can maximize my loot and find plenty of dead bases. I typically just go after the loot that's available, get in, get out, move on to the next raid. That way I save as much time as possible. On the screen, you can see the amount of resources that we were able to loot divided by the amount of troop space, which gives us a raid quotient of 11,634. Not bad. Now, we have hopped right back into our second raid, and to be honest with you, I normally don't mess with bases that have a lot of loot and storages, but this is a lot of gold, and I can really use that gold to upgrade, and so we are going to go ahead and go after that gold, and we want to compare the raid quotient of this type of attack versus a collector-only attack, and what is the difference in the raid quotients. One little technique that I like to use is I will put down my sneakies and wait for them to become visible. Once they become visible, then the defenses will start shooting at them. That's when I typically release three wall breakers and those wall breakers are pretty much free to waltz in and break those walls. That way I can grab that loot out of those storages. I will use jump spells from time to time, but I have a limited number of jump spells. I don't want to use them all up on one raid because I typically get in five, six, seven, sometimes more raids per two army camps. And so I try to save them as much as possible. As you can see, I've already used two of them here. So I wouldn't have had enough to get all of the resources in those storages. So I needed to use those wall breakers to make sure that I can get as much loot as possible. In the end, this was a decent raid, although we did have to use a decent amount of sneakies. In the end, we looted a total of 1.6 million resources using 159 troop space for a raid quotient of 10,544 per troop space. Now, this base is a perfect example of using sneakies efficiently. Remember, the goal is not necessarily to gain a lot of loot. You want to gain as much loot per troop space as possible and this base had those gold storages just sitting out there so i thought they're unprotected i can use one sneaky goblin yeah let's do it also remember i'm a little bit low in trophies and so i could use one sneaky goblin just one three troop space to take down the town hall to hopefully get my trophies up a little bit higher because again i like to stay in that range of 1500 to 2000 in order to gain the most loot possible with each and every raid that i do this is definitely one of the shorter raids that I do with my Sneaky Goblins that I do every now and again. But let's look at the raid quotient and see if we actually did well. We were able to gain 339,930 loot. And we used only 7 Sneakies for a troop space total of 21, giving us a raid quotient of 16,187. So you can see the raid quotient was better hitting a base with just a few Sneakies gaining the most loot per troop space. 
I do realize this is a little bit different way of looking at farming, especially with your sneakies, and this may have not been something that you've done before, but this is definitely the most efficient way to gain the most loot possible in the shortest amount of time. A lot of players think, oh man, I have to loot millions and millions every single raid. I have to find the base that has the absolute most resources and use up a full army camp of sneakies. But in the process, they do not have a great raid quotient if you use them strategically. The goal should not be to find a ton of loot with every single raid. The goal should be to find the most accessible loot with every single raid. Now, you may have noticed that I have not really used my heroes. In fact, I haven't used them at all. I've used them none. <laughs> but I have not used my heroes in farming because I typically save them for special situations. Supercell is awesome in giving us an extra hero life. And that does absolute wonders for farming, but I typically keep them for a base exactly like this, where it may be a little more difficult to get a bunch of sneakies in a specific part of the base. And I don't wanna waste a lot of sneakies trying to go deep in the base. So I'll use my heroes in this faction in order to gain the loot that's just easily accessible sitting right there. My heroes can just walk through, pick it all up. And this is also what I use my invis spells for. I obviously want to try to keep my king and my queen alive for the next raid because once I use them twice, then they have to heal up and I'm not going to be able to use them for farming raids and I'm typically doing six or seven farming raids per attack. And so I want to use them as much as possible. But this is the way that I will typically use my heroes. Again, getting all the loot as possible and then logging out of the raid. On this specific attack, I did let my queen go just a little bit longer because, again, I'm a little low in trophies and I wanted to make sure that I got that 50%. But our raid quotient for this specific attack is 17,520 per troop space. Now, understand that number is a little bit higher because we used our heroes in that specific attack and we had not been using our heroes in previous attacks. But also, if our heroes die during the raid, then we only get two chances to use them while we're farming. Now, at this point, I am almost out of sneakies and I run across this OP base where I have tons of loot. So I want to be really conservative with how I use my sneakies, putting them in in the right places. I typically use two sneakies per storage, one sneaky per loot collector so that I can gain the absolute most loot possible. I do consider using my heroes on this raid. I have been saving them up. I poss possibly didn't have to save them for as long as I did. Again, that's a very personal decision. Also, you may have heroes that are upgrading, so they are not available for you to use for farming anyway. But when they are available for farming, definitely use them sparingly. Use them in the right situations where you can put them down, gain a bunch of loot, and then hit surrender and get out of that attack which is with as much loot as possible. At this point in the raid, I only have 10 left deploying them here and there where I can get them. Also, just to point out, my heroes are max at Town Hall 11. This account's going to stay at Town Hall 11, so I don't need a ton of Dark Elixir. If you're looking for Dark Elixir, this is an excellent way to get that Dark Elixir. And once these Sneakies are done, then they're done. We have used two full army camps of Sneakies, along with about 40 wall breakers, so that way we can get into some bases if we need to. And at the very end, we're gonna give you a total raid quotient of all of our raids, and you can see how efficient it is to use this method of farming with sneakies. We have one gold mine left, and I'm sending in that OP sneaky goblin to go get the rest of that loot. Doesn't quite get all of it, but still, we have a raid quotient on this specific attack of 14,960. Now, at this point, I am completely out of Sneaky Goblins, but I still have my heroes, so I wanna go ahead and gain the most loot possible out of my farming time, and so I decide to go ahead and attack this base. There's not a ton of loot, but also, I only have 13 wall breakers, so I'm gonna use up the rest of my invisibility spells. I'm gonna use my wall breakers to get into that section. I'm gonna invis my queen. I'm gonna invis my king if I need to, to gain as much loot as possible. I do do a horrible job at funneling my queen, so please, <laughs> please, no, no criticism for my horrible uh, queen charge skills on this specific attack because I wasn't looking at funneling appropriately. I just threw her down and she didn't exactly go in the way that I wanted her to go. I did put my king down on that side to gain all of those full 
about said elixir collectors, all of those full gold collectors. And I am envisioning my queen to try to make sure that she can get as many of those storages as possible. And then once she gains a lot of those storages, she's already gone to her ability. I hit the Grand Warden ability to make sure she can go even longer. I myth on my invisibility spells just a little bit here and she dies. Big mistake on my part. But anyway, on this raid, the only troops that we used were wall breakers. And I did throw in these last five wall breakers here at the end because I was like, yeah, what the heck? Let's just throw them in. But on this very final raid, we actually have a troop raid quotient of 20,309, our best yet. So as you can see, with two army camps, we were able to get in six attacks loot 7.2 million in resources for a total raid quotient of 13,902 per troop space. Sneaky Goblins are OP. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you are using Sneaky Goblins. Thanks so much for watching.